What is up my friends? Welcome back to another Clean with Confidence video. Today we're talking about how to clean your cabinets, whether they be in the kitchen or the bathroom. Today's video will be for you. To properly clean your cabinets, I'm going to give you a level 1 cleaning and then I'm going to follow it up and give you a level 2 cleaning. The level 1 cleaning is for those of you whose cabinets just need to be touched up a little bit. You just need to go around and remove some blemishes here and there. The level 2 cleaning is going to be for those of you whose cabinets are absolutely plastered in dirt, grease, etc. To perform the level 1 cleaning, all you're going to need is two microfiber cloths. A wet one for cleaning and a dry one for drying as well as some Dawn dish soap or any mild dishwashing liquid that you prefer. I prefer Dawn though, I think it's the best one on the market. So we're gonna go around, we're gonna touch up these cabinets, we're gonna clean the blemishes, clean the spots, all you need, get your cleaning cloth, the one you're gonna clean with, get it wet. Add you a little damp Dawn dish soap, not a lot, just about like that. Kind of rub it together. Get, it, get all the Dawn mixed up in the rag, right? Saturate the rag with the Dawn dish soap. Give it a little bit of a rinse. Not, don't rinse all the soap out, but just, then kind of squeeze it to where it's just mildly damp, but you still got some Dawn dish soap in it. And we're just gonna go around and we're gonna touch up the cabinets. If you notice, we got some spots right here. It's kind of just some grease that Clearly, it got splattered. Take your cleaning cloth and just wipe it off. With that Dawn dish soap on there, it comes right off. Very simple, very easy. Watch this. Boom. Just like that. See? Cleans right up. Wipe down the whole cabinet if you prefer. With your cleaning cloth. The second part, the second cloth is optional, but if you want to dry afterwards, you take your dry cloth and you just dry it, wipe off. Any water residue that's left, you just kind of dry it off. Real simple. We got more right here. So we're just gonna wipe that right off. And take a dry cloth. And got some more to get right here. So just wipe it right off. Depending on how damp that cloth is, take a dry cloth. Dry it right up. Another way you can perform this level one cleaning is just to get you some kind of multi-purpose spray, right? You can just spray it on your cabinet directly, take your microfiber cloth, and then just wipe off the blemish. Um, Murphy's oil soap makes a really good one. It's a it's a it's a cleaner specifically for wood that you just spray on there. Or you can go the DIY route if you're real big into DIY cleaning and making your own products. It can be a lot cheaper. You can make it something like this. This is a DIY cleaner. It's two cups of water with a few squirts of Dawn dish soap. You see the pretty blue? So you just take this, spray it up on there, take your microfiber cloth, and wipe off the blemish. If you're gonna go the DIY route, one thing I wanna tell you is don't make a DIY cleaner for your wood cabinets that contains vinegar in it. Vinegar is an acid. It's a paint stripper, it can be a varnish remover, and if you clean your cabinets with uh, <laughs> something with vinegar, over time what's gonna happen is it's gonna dull and discolor them and mess up your finish. You might not notice it immediately, but after a year or so, you're gonna notice, man, those cabinets look horrible. If you want to know more about what all that means and how to use the pH scale to your advantage when you're cleaning, I did a video entitled, What is pH and why is it important? I'll leave that video listed linked down below for you. You can check it out. Now it's time to move on to the level two cleaning. For the level two cleaning, you're gonna need some non-scratch sponges. 
And it's pretty easy to tell because they say non-scratch. Typically, they're the blue sponges. And you'll need some type of nylon brush here. I will leave these listed and linked down below for you. It may not be this exact one, but I'll leave some of these listed and linked down below for you. You're also gonna need some Murphy's Oil soap and your microfiber cloth. Some Dawn dish soap as well that we're gonna leave the knobs soaking in. First things first, you wanna remove your knobs from your cabinets you're gonna be cleaning. And we're gonna soak them in some water with some Dawn dish soap. Make sure the water is hot. So we're just gonna stick them up in here. I'm gonna put you some Dawn dish soap in there. Mix it up, and you're just gonna let those soak while you clean your cabinets. That Dawn dish soap will start to break up any grease or gunk that you have on them. And for this level two cleaning, this is what we're gonna be cleaning. You can see the cabinets are, have a ton of dirt all over them. So this level two cleaning will take care of that. Easy peasy Louisy. So what you wanna do for this is to grab you some kind of container where you can put a gallon of hot water, one gallon of hot water, and then take your Murphy's oil and we're gonna mix one fourth cup of Murphy's oil into that gallon of water. Now, if the cabinets are extremely filthy, say you have just grease for days, you can use a half cup with the gallon of water. So we got our Murphy's oil mixed in our water here. Now we're gonna take our non-scratch sponge. And remember, the way you know this is non-scratch is it actually says it on there, non-scratch. Don't use something like this. This right here is, if you can see it, heavy duty. And this will scratch, this will mess up your finish on your cabinets. It's pretty easy for the most part. Blue is non-scratch, green, yellow is, is your, uh, your heavy duty sponge. So you wanna make sure that you get your non-scratch. Also don't use anything like this, like a, um, what is this again? <laughs> Magic eraser. This will also damage the finish. So we take our sponge, dip it in our mixture. Kind of wring it out to where it's damp. You don't want it super, super wet. And then you're just going to take it and rub your cabinets. Clean your cabinets off. Okay. Just like this. See how easy that cleans? You can also take you a dry microfiber cloth and kind of wipe it off as you go along. If your cabinets have a grain, then make sure that you're going with the grain. So if it's up and down grain, go up and down. If it's side to side, go side to side. But go with the grain. These ones have these ones that I'm doing have no grain, but if yours have grain, you know what to do. Also, if you have a whole lot of grease on your edges here, this is where your nylon brush comes into play. Okay, so you can just take your nylon brush and you can scrub the grease out that way. You can use this piece right here, this pointed area, and get in the little nooks and crannies. So you can do that as well. And that works wonders. And moving over here to this one, same thing. And you don't have to scrub really, really hard at this at all. A little rinse. Rinse out the sponge, I mean. You don't have to rinse off the cabinets after you use this Murphy's oil because it has a, an oil in it that will not only clean these cabinets, but it will polish these cabinets as you go along. And obviously these are white cabinets, it doesn't need to be polished, but you know, for those of you that have the, the cabinets that are, still have their wood uh, look to them, it, this Murphy's Oil will polish and clean. And just FYI, it's probably better to start on the top. I should have started with these and worked my way down. So any dirt, dirty water that wants to drip doesn't drip on my cabinets. I just finished cleaning. <laughs> And to finish these cabinets off, the last thing you would do is take your knobs and your brush and you would just get in the nooks and crannies of the knobs. And all the gunk that is on there should be nice and loose and they should just 
come right clean. Rinse them off and then put them back on. So that is it my friends, how to clean your kitchen cabinets and your bathroom cabinets or whatever else kind of cabinet you got. Until next time, thanks so much for checking the video. Subscribe to the channel for more great content. Give it a big clean with confidence, thumbs up, thumbs up. If you liked the video, you found it valuable. And until then, implement the steps I've outlined in this video with your cabinets and you will be well on your way to becoming the domesticated cleaning savage that I know you are. Perceive it or not, so but you better stop believing There's power in this product to decrease and devour A 90 minute job just turn into an hour